All right, hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a bag in your uh, from an existing bag to a new bag. So this new bag we have here is the Ross bagpipe bag, and what I had here was just a synthetic bag. I think it's Banatine Banatine pipe bag, and this is just the the new bag here is the I forget what size they call it, but it's just the the most common size bag. So my old one here had a leak in it and the way to test for leaks is just get these um, these corks and put them on all the holes and then take your blowpipe and then blow up the bag. And we're going to stick it in the, a sink and then you'll be able to, s to see where it's leaking. I know where it's leaking. It's just back here but we'll show you in the sink so you can clearly see it. Okay so the way that we're going to test for a leak here is just put the bagpipe bag, bag in a sink and then you can see where the air bubbles are going to come out of the leak. So the leak's at the back here. You can hear it. Multiple leaks. Oh, yeah. All right. So the first step in uh, replacing the bag here, I've got everything apart. I took a, took out all my drones. Make sure you make note of the order in which they're in. I've got my blowpipe there and all the the Ross canister canister system innards there. I've also got some zip ties and then I got new tassels because my old tassel here was broken. <laughs> did a little too much play in there. Actually, I think I stepped on it. But so here's the new bag. Got the old bag here. And I'm gonna start here by taking out all of the stocks and making note not to mix up with the two tenders, especially because they're the same. So I'll do that now. Okay. Now since these, uh, since this is an old bag, I'm just gonna take a knife here and just cut the old the old seals on these because they're pretty much cemented in there. So I'm gonna cut those open and then I'll be, be able to easily take them out. Alright, so I just took out all the stocks from the old bag. That's garbage. Bring in the new guy. The Ross suede bag. And we'll put in the stocks now and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I'm gonna do the channer stock first. We're just going to stick it in the end of the, the new bag and then once that's in there we're going to take what's been given to us since this is just a little rubber sleeve and slip that over the outside of this end of the bag and then clamp it down on top of it and that's just to ensure that the, uh, the hose clamp here doesn't cut the bag in any way and then after that we're going to use the, the sealing tape to cover over top of the, the clamp to ensure a good seal and to prevent from cutting the bag. Okay, so I've attached two so far. I found that the easier way to do this is to put it in, put the stocks in from the inside of the bag. And that way they, they can just sort of slip in from the outside instead of trying to force them in from the outside. And in the instructions, it does recommend to use a little bit of lubricant. And I, I didn't for this one, but this one was a little bit more tough, so I did put a, just a dab of lubricant on there. And now I'm going to do the same on these. Okay, so now that I have all, the, all my stocks in the new bag, I'm going to do what they recommend in the instructions and just take a little bit of lubricant and put... This is the zipper lubricant that comes with it, and put a little bit on the outside and on the inside of this zipper where it seals here. Okay, so I just I just blew this thing up, and since there's a drone valve in here, 
I can just check for leaks just like this. So I just blew it up and it's full right now. And look at that, it is not leaking at all anywhere. So this is great. Huge difference from the old bag. Look at that. So now that the all the stocks are in, that was the hardest part. We can just put back in all of our drones. I'm going to put my new tassels on and then put to, put together my uh, can, canister system and then uh, that'll be good to go. But of course, before we do that, I'm going to put tape around all these just to ensure an extra seal. That's what they recommend in the instructions. And that's it.